Okay. So, uh, what happens in stoichiometric calculations that there is a chemical reaction that is taking place and you are provided with the chemical equation or either you have to write the chemical equation for that reaction. And out of those reactants and products from the chemical equation, you are given with the any one quantity of a substance. So that's what we consider it a given quantity. And they have been, the examiner asks you to find any other quantity of any other particular, any other substance. That's what we consider as a required quantity. Is this point is understandable to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, the easier, it's a little longer way, but there is a very uh, slight chance of any error in it. You have to first figure out which quantity is given and you have to convert that quantity into moles. And then you have to uh, identify who's, which substance quantity is required. You have to take their mole ratio and then by the mole ratio, you are able to uh, figure out the moles of the substance whose quantity is required. So when you got its mole, you will convert that moles into any given, any quantity which has been asked by these formulas. Is this point is clear? Okay. Now have a look at this question, for example. If you see. River water contains many substances, including minerals, dissolved oxygen, organic material, nitrates, and phosphates. The concentration of dissolved oxygen in river water can be determined by the series of a reaction that is summarized by the equation below. So they have given you one chemical equation over here. When a 2000 centimeter cube of a river water was tested. So see this 2000 centimeter cube is what? It's a volume and it is the volume of a whole sample which is taken for the test. Is this point is understandable to all of you? Yes. yes sir. Okay. 0 0.508 gram of iodine was liberated. So we got the mass of iodine and it's liberated means it is formed. Yes. Now calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube of a dissolved oxygen in river water sample. So as I have told you, Whatever quantity of any substance is given, first what you need to do, you need to convert it into moles. Then take the ratio of the given substance and the required substance. So see what is given to us. Mass of iodine. Yeah, iodine. volume is of a whole sample, right? But what is given to us? Mass of iodine liberated. So it's 0 0.508. So what I'm going to do I'm going to find the moles of iodine and to find the moles of iodine, which mathematical expression I will use, mass of iodine upon divided MR. It's, oh. it's iodine, it's a diatomic, yes. so it's, it's molecular mass. So it's 0 0.508. And if we look for the molecular mass Of iodine, I is 127, so times, times 2, 254. So it's 254. So that will give me the moles of iodine. Two into 10 to the power negative 3. Two into 10 raised to the power negative 3. Are the moles? Yes. Yes. yes okay. Now, so we got the moles of iodine. Okay. So when you we are make the mole ratio, we first we 
write the one which is known, which is given to us, and then we write the other substance which we have to find. So if you write the last part, you have to calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube of dissolved oxygen. So it means I will make the ratio between iodine and oxygen because iodine is given and oxygen has been asked. Is this understandable? Yes, Laiva? Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry, uh, four iodine or two iodine? Right side. It's yeah. iodine. So, no. That too is the number of moles. It's not the part of the formula, right? If I have to calculate the MR, I have to cal MR would be the mass of this, no matter how many coefficient would be present in the chemical balance equation. It is just for balancing. Okay. That is not the part of the formula that it this doesn't mean that there are four iodine in one molecule, right? This two means there are two molecules of I2. That's what it means. Okay, so we will take the ratio between the given and the no uh, and the unknown. So the unknown which we have to find is oxygen, right? So if you take the ratio from the equation, how many moles of iodine are here? And how many moles of oxygen are here? One. So we got the ratio that it is going to be two is to one. So if I have two exponent minus three moles of iodine, then X moles of oxygen would be needed for this. And if I calculate the value of X, so I think you are going to get one exponent minus three. So these are the moles of oxygen that we got. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. C. Good question. If you don't understand C. What they have been given you? I mass of iodine, right? And that mass of iodine is in the total volume of river water that have been taken. Right? Mm -hmm. Then they are asking you calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube of dissolved oxygen. So we have to find the concentration of oxygen. So what I have told you first that whatever quantity of any substance is given, First, you need to convert it into yeah. moles. Then you will take the ratio of the given and the unknown substance. So given substance is iodine and the unknown substance whose concentration has been asked is oxygen. Right? So that's why I took the ratio between iodine and oxygen. Now from this ratio, I got the moles and these are the moles of which substance? Oxygen. I know the volume of the whole solution. I now got the volume moles of the oxygen. So I will find the concentration. What is the formula of concentration? Mole divided by volume. Uh, Mole divided by volume in decimeter cube. So if I have to find, find the concentration of oxygen. So yeah, so oxygen is present in that whole sample. What is concentration? A small amount of a solute present in the solution. So the whole solution is 2000 centimeter cube. And now I got the volume of moles of oxygen. How many moles were present in that 2000 centimeter cube, right? So concentration of oxygen is equals to moles of oxygen divided by volume of a whole sample. But remember this volume must be always in decimeter cube. Yeah, so 2 dm cube. So here one exponent minus three divided by two because it's two thousand centimeter cube. So divided by thousand will turn in it into decimeter cube. So if you divide it by two, I think it will become five point zero exponent minus four mole per dm cube. Yes, is this understandable? Yes, yep. yes Mustafa, Mushtaba, and Khadija. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, can you guys try this one?
ਉਤਾਰਨ ਦਾ ਸਕੀਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਾਰਬਨ ਇਸ 12 ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਰ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਅਟੈਂਪਟ ਥਿਸ ਔਨ ਆਰ ਓਨ ਯਾ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਇਟ ਔਨ ਯੂਰ ਓਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਐਨੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟੀ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਅਸਿਸਟ ਯੂ ਹਮ ਬਰਾਸਿਮ 39 39 32 so here i am writing the ar values of hydrogen 1 sulfur 32 oxygen 16 potassium 39 carbon 12 did i miss any one छोटी मोटी मिस्टेक हुई है किसका करेक्ट है किसका रॉन्ग है Yes, Laiba. Yes, Mustafa and Mustafa. Sir, it's 4.35. Okay. Mass of potassium sulfate, you have to calculate this, right? It's required. You have to calculate the mass of this one. From 3.45 gram of potassium carbonate. So, they have given you 4.35 grams of this okay so there are two ways of doing this the one way is the one which we did it earlier like convert it into moles right so moles of if i will calculate the moles of k2co3 it is 4.35 divided by is carbonate is oxygen 48 48 and 12 60 60 and 39 and 39 is tell me its mr 120 yeah 130 very good so if i divide sir, for, sir 4.34 kya hai 
what is your answer okay sorry it's not 4.34 it's 3.45 my bad so 3.45 divided by 138 uh, 0 0.025 0 0.025 these are the moles of potassium carbonate potassium carbonate now we will take the ratio of K2CO3 with potassium carbonate with potassium sulfate, right? K2SO4. So it's 1 is to 1. So it means if the moles are 0 0.025, then in this case also the moles would be, it's X. And if you will calculate the value of X, it is going to be 0 0.025, right? Because the number of moles of both would, would be seen. Now, if I have to find the mass of potassium sulfate, so I have to multiply its moles with the MR of potassium sulfate. So sulfate is 96. 96 and 30 is 126. 126 and 30 is 174. 166. Yeah, 174. So multiply this and you will get the mass. 4.35. 4.35, yes. Khatija? What's your... Yes, sir, I, found, I found a mistake. I have taken I have taken the wrong MR. Okay. Live clear? Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay, try this one. Yes, there are two parts. Hmm. Fe is fifty six. It's fifty six. Hmm. Where? Ion at hmm? iron No, at the if if iron two, it means that it's Fe two positive one. Yeah.
Sir, it is the answer for the first part is 4.5 into 10 power minus 4. For first part. You have to calculate the number of potassium magnate used in that iteration. So if you see, this is the concentration. And this is the volume. So the formula of concentration is concentration is equals to moles upon volume. So if I have to find the moles, so moles would equals to concentration time volume, but that, that volume must be in decimeter cube. So concentration is 0 0.0200 times volume, which is 22.5 centimeter cube. So you have to divide it with 1000 to convert it into decimeter cube. So what answer you are getting? 4.5 4. 4. 4. 5 into 10 to the power negative 4. 4.5 times 10 raised to the power negative 4. Yeah. Okay. Now see, in this question, potassium magnate reacts with 5 moles of iron. So instead of equation, they have told you the ratio in this way. Yeah. That 1 mole of KMnO4, potassium magnate reacts with, the ratio is this. So if we got these number of moles, then it would be X. What happens? Sir, ratio samaj nahi aara. Read the first statement in point one. See? It's one mole of potassium magnate reacts with five moles of iron to iron. So the ratio would be KMnO4, one mole and Fe2 positives, five mole. Is this clear? G clear up ko. Yes. So what is the answer over here? Did, did you understand the ratio? Yes no. or not? Yes, sir. Sir, 0 0.126 grams. 0 0.126 grams. Is this the value you guys are getting? Yes, sir. Okay. So if you see every question follows the same way, the one which is given to you, you have to convert it into moles. Then you have to take the mole ratio of the two. And then the one which has been asked, you got the mole of that from the mole ratio and then turn it into the given quantity, uh, the asked quantity. Okay, how you guys do this, these two questions? Sir, I have equation bhi rikhni hai. Haan, agar likh sakte hai, likh le, please. Yaad hai just isko. Yeah, any question. Chal, niche wala part chal, discuss it. Sir, we have to equation state symbol. Ke saath likhni hai. Okay, perfect. Okay. 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 Sir, we have to equation state symbols. Ke saath likhni hai. Haan, aine ki equation state symbols. Ke saath likhni hai. Achha, dekhe, unne kya bola hai? During the preparation of verdigris, copper atoms, oxygen molecules, and hydrogen ions combine to form copper two ions and water. 
तो ये तो आईने की क्वेश्चन के लिए तो सब कुछ तो बताया हुआ है आप लोगों को सो कॉपर आइटम्स सर बात सुनिएगा यस सर इन्होंने तो स्टेट सिंबल का नहीं बोला तो फिर हमें कैसे आइडिया कि लिखना है या नहीं लिखना बेटा आईने की क्वेश्चन के लिए याद रखें आईने की क्वेश्चन के लिए हमेशा याद रखें अपने स्टेट सिंबल्स लिखने हैं क्या फॉर्म हो रहे हैं कॉपर टू पॉजिटिव आइन्स फॉर्म हो रहे हैं और क्या फॉर्म हो रहा है वाटर फॉर्म हो रहा है तो ये आपकी आईने की क्वेश्चन है इस आईने की क्वेश्चन के लिए उन्होंने सब कुछ आपको बता दिया कॉपर आइटम्स सो कॉपर इज अ मेटल सो इट मीन दे आर गोइंग टू बी सॉलिड ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल्स यू ऑल नो ऑक्सीजन इज अ गैस एंड हाइड्रोजन आइन सो वेन एवर देर इज अफिकली आइन्स रिटर्न इट मीन इट्स एन एक्वेस combines to form copper to ions so again ions so aqueous and water water is a liquid now wood degrees has the molecular formula of this dot xh2o it has the relative formula mass of 552 calculate the value of x in the formula so how you will calculate the x blabber Yes. The empirical formula. Yeah, they are just asking you to calculate the value of x. And it's. Sir, we will. Sir, subtract. Sir, we will. 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 and then subtracted 552 you will get the mass of water this is the mass 552 is the mass of the whole substance whole formula and you can able to calculate the mass of this thing right and then after calculating the mass of this you will subtract it from 552 you will get the mass of water and x is the number of moles so you will divide it Divide whatever the mass you will get divided with the amount of water you will get the value of x. Okay, so calculate this. Copper is sixty three or sixty four. It's sixty four. Okay, so. Jaldi se. Sir, I'm H two O भी तो minus करेंगे ना? हम्म. H two O को नहीं करेंगे minus. How many copper are there? Sixty four. Just wait. Right. How many? Carbon we have. No, there are three coppers, right? How many carbons we have? One, two, four. Eight. Eight times twelve. How many hydrogen we have? Twelve, fourteen times one. Then oxygen, two, four, eight, nine, ten. Is can anyone? Tell me the well answer. Three, three, six, 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 Four eighty two. Are you getting four sixty two? It's four sixty two. So what? You guys getting ninety? It's ninety. Yeah. So x is equals to ninety divided by eighteen gives you five. So the value of x would be five. Same, sir. Good.
जी क्लियर है सबको सर मुझे क्लियर नहीं है क्या बात क्लियर नहीं है सर मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा है एच टू को हम डिवाइड क्यों कर रहे हैं उसे भी तो माइनस ही करेंगे ना देखें एच टू ओ का इफ यू टू फाइंड द मैस ऑफ एच टू यू गॉट इट बाय सब्ट्रैक्टिंग राइट जी द होल थिंग हैज अ मैस ऑफ फाइव फिफ्टी टू When we calculated the mass of this, we will get it's four sixty two. When we subtracted, we get the mass of water that is ninety, right? Yes. So that is x moles of water. So if it's x moles of water, okay, you can if you have any confusion in this, you can do this like this. That x moles has a water of a mass of ninety. If there is a one mole of water, then its mass is eighteen, right? Yes, sir. So you will find the x. You will again going to get five. Okay, sir. Clear, yes, sir. Understand. Or otherwise, if you this x water is multiplying with x, so if you will move it on the opposite side, it goes in the denominator. So one mole of water came here, and its mass is eighteen. So that's why we have divided it with eighteen. Okay. Okay. Now who will do these two parts? You are looking at the clean jelly, sir. जी कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं सर वर्किंग विद मी लेट मी चल
जी आपने वर्किंग नहीं शेयर की सर मैंने कर दी आपको भेज दी है समझ अभी तक रिसीव नहीं हुई कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है देखें वो क्या कह रहे हैं ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ अ जर्नी 2.4 डाय और डीएम क्यूब ऑफ डाय नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन मोनोऑक्साइड वाज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द इंजन सी सो दे हैव गिवन यू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस थिंग राइट Calculate the volume of nitrogen gas produced if all of the nitrogen monoxide reacted in the converter. So you have to calculate the volume of this if all of this the produced which all of that is going to convert it into N two. So see. Okay, there is a one another important way. If you got the same quantities. For example, in this question or in the previous one here, no, where it was here. See, they have given you the mass, and they have have asked you the mass, so you can do directly as well without converting them into the moles. In the same way, for example, here they have given you the volume, and they are asking for the volume. so you can do this directly as well so that there are two ways i am going to show you both the ways of doing this the one way is the our typical way which we have discussed that first convert it into moles so the moles of no would be equals to its volume divided by 24 so what moles i will got i will get 0.1 mole same in formula we are doing okay so we got the moles okay and see and that's why i have made this uh, spiral like diagram in this if you see every formula is written for every conversion so if you have to given the number of particles how you will convert it into moles if you are mass have a mass how you will convert it into moles if you have a volume of gas what you will do if you have a volume and concentration of solution what you will do in the same way when from the moles you have to convert into these quantities which expression you will use okay so where are we yeah we got the moles now the mole ratio if you see no is to n2 what is the mole ratio 2 is to 1 so 0.1 is to x so the value of x would be 0.05 now you have to can find the volume of n2 so for volume of n2 Zero point zero five into twenty four. So I think you are going to get one point two decimeter cube. Yes, check. Yes. जी आप लोगों का ये तो नहीं मुझे किसी ने one point two तो नहीं बताया था आंसर. हाँ. आंसर किसी ने one point two तो नहीं बताया था. तो ये आ रहा है. ये आ रहा है. Okay. So the other way, as I have told you, both the things are both are volumes, right? Volume is given and volume is asked. So what you will do, you will directly relate it like two N O is to N two. Okay. From this, how many moles of N O are there? Two. So what is the volume of one mole of gas? It's twenty four, right? So it means it's two times twenty four is to twenty four, right? And the volume over here is two point four and x. You will calculate the x. You will get the same answer. You would do it directly as well. Okay. In reality, only one dm cube of nitrogen was produced after the gases had passed over the catalytic converter. Calculate the percentage of nitrogen monoxide that had been reacted. So, in total, how much was produced? Two point four, and uh, from that two point four, one point zero of nitrogen was produced. So it means how much? Uh, 
nitrogen monoxide has been used up. 2 DMQ. 41.67. Let me check. 2. No. It's like this. See, 1.0 DMQ of nitrogen was produced. Right? N2 is produced is 1.0. So if it's 1.0, then how much of this was used up? The ratio is 2 is to 1. Right? So 2 dm cube of this has been used up. So the amount of NO used up divided by total volume of NO. So it's not 48. Okay. Yes. What is the answer? Can you please explain this part again? 83. Yeah. 83.3. Yes. See, they have they ask you in reality only one dm cube of nitrogen was produced. So it means they have given you the volume of this, right? Yes, sir. And what they are asking you, calculate the percentage of nitrogen monoxide that had reacted. So if one vol vol dm cube of nitrogen is produced, then we have to know that from how much volume it has been produced. So if you see the ratio is 2 is to 1, right? Yes. So if one dm cube of nitrogen is produced, then it must be produced from two decimeter cube of, you know, NO. Right? Yes. So the ox NO used up is 2. Okay. And the total NO produced was 2.4, right? Yes. So, we have to divide and multiply by 100. Kar diya. Hai? Okay, sir. Sir, you have a question. You have a shortcut. 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 You 24. So either two moles, so it's twice of 24, or either one mole, so just 24. Okay. Chale. Okay. Paki, inshallah, next class we will do. Okay. Sir, this file share. Yes. This file share. Yes. Okay. Sir, oh. is a direct method allowed? Yes, yes, yeah, allowed. If I don't prefer the direct method, then you will make mistakes more often. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, sir. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.